In a recent video about the Discover It credit card, I said that this may not be the best beginner credit card anymore, which led many of you to ask, what is the best beginner credit card in 2023? The number five card on today's list is a newer option from Citi, and that would be the Citi Custom Cash Card. This is the revamped version of the incredibly popular Citi Double Cash Card, but the Custom Cash Card is unique in that it gives you 5% cash back on your highest eligible spending category. And that category automatically changes month to month so that you are always earning 5% on the areas where you spend the most money. Those categories include things like restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, and other areas that you're already spending money on. And you also get 1% on all other purchases. The custom cash card has no annual fee and they'll give you a $200 bonus if you spend $1,500 in the first six months. Honestly, this card is fantastic other than the fact that you're 5% cash back is capped at just $500 in spending each month, which I totally understand for a free credit card, but it is a huge drawback, especially if you spend a lot of money on your credit card. But if you don't, then the City Custom Cash Card is a fantastic choice. We are just getting started, and I think the number one card on today's list is going to shock a lot of you. But coming in at number four is a product that we have never talked about before on this channel, and that would be the Pedal 2 Rewards Card. This product is really targeted to users who are brand new to credit and offers a simple and sleek design, allowing you to track your credit score over time and earn some awesome cash back and rewards along the way. Not only does it have no annual fee, but it has zero fees across the board of any kind, including no foreign transaction fee and even no late fees, which is a huge differentiator. The cash back ranges from 1 to 1.5% on your everyday purchases, which is definitely nothing to write home about, but you are able to earn 2 to 10% cash back at select locations like Costco, Sam's Club, and several others. It doesn't offer a whole lot beyond that, but it does have the most simple and to the point design of any of the products on today's list. So if your sole purpose is building your credit score safely and quickly, then the Pedal 2 is another great choice. All right, before we get to our contentious top two products, number three on today's list is one that you're probably familiar with, and that would be the Capital One Quicksilver card. There's a few different versions of this product depending on your current credit score and what you're looking to get out of this card, but the standard Quicksilver card has no annual fee and gives you unlimited 1.5% cash back on all of your purchases, plus a $200 cash bonus when you spend just $500 in the first three months. It also gives you a ton of perks that usually only come with more expensive cards, including extended warranty protections, travel accident insurance, and things like that. But the drawback here is the standard Quicksilver card does require excellent credits according to Capital One. Now, like I said, there are other versions of this card specifically for individuals who don't have established credit history, but considering we're looking at beginner products in today's video, the fact that the standard version of this card requires excellent credit is borderline a deal breaker. However, there is something to be said for a flat, simple 1.5% cash back so that you don't have to worry about using different cards at different locations, and the Quicksilver card is certainly well within the beginner category, even even if it does have a credit score requirement for the standard version. So if you don't even want to think about what card you're using at what location, then definitely check out the Quicksilver card. And if you're worried about qualifying for that standard version, then definitely check out the Quicksilver One Rewards card. All right, so those first three options are great depending on where you're currently at with your credit journey and what you're looking to get out of your first credit card. And definitely don't make this decision on a whim because as I've talked about before, your first credit credit card is probably an account that you'll want to keep open forever in order to improve the average age of your credit. So you want this product to be a simple and easy to use card, and especially you want it to have no annual fee because you'll probably have it forever. So keep that in mind when making your decision. But the reason that we are making today's video is because so many of you were wondering what I felt had replaced the Discover It credit card at the number one spot. So before we get to that, it probably 
probably doesn't come as a surprise that the number two card on today's list is of course the Discover It credit card. We have talked circles around this product, but in case you're not familiar, the Discover It has been the king of the beginner credit card space for years, offering 5% cash back on rolling categories that change each quarter, including things like Amazon, grocery stores, restaurants, and several other places where you're probably spending money on up to $1,500 in purchases each quarter, as well as 1% unlimited cash back on everything else. In that sense, this card is very similar to the City Custom Cash card that we talked about earlier, but in this case, your category changes each quarter instead of every single month, and it doesn't happen automatically based on your spending habits. But the Discover It credit card really made a name for itself by offering their unlimited cashback match at the end of your first year, meaning you're really getting 10% cash back on those rolling categories and 2% unlimited cash back on everything else. And I can attest that when I got this card a few years ago, I got several hundred dollars in cash back at the end of my first year from just that offer alone. Of course, it has no annual fee and comes with Discover's fantastic 100% US based customer service, which is 24 seven and truly is second to none in the customer service area. Now, this all sounds great. So why is this product no longer at number one in my opinion? Well, honestly, the Discover It credit card is still a fantastic product, but they have a lot more competition nowadays than they did just a few years ago, meaning it is at least worth considering what other options are out there. I've also never been a fan of the fact that after your first year, you're looking at just 1% cash back. And while you do get 5% on those rolling categories, it is capped at $1,500 in purchases each quarter. And you do have to manually go into the app and activate those categories, which isn't that big of a deal, but something that I know a lot of you are not a fan of. What I will say is if you are literally a complete beginner, meaning you have zero credit history of any kind and are starting from ground zero, then depending on some other variables like your income, the Discover 8 credit card might actually be your only option out of every card on today's list. Yes, all of them are certainly within that beginner category, but when you are just starting from ground zero and you have no credit history, even qualifying for a simple beginner credit card might be difficult, and a lot of times users have to get a secured credit card first before being able to qualify for any kind of normal credit card. But I hate secured credit cards, I don't think they are worth it, so if this applies to you and you're starting from ground zero, then the Discover It credit card might be your only option. However, it is no longer the best overall option in this beginner category, in my opinion, and that's because the number one beginner credit card in 2023, at least in my opinion, is now the American Express Blue Cash Everyday card. Now, I want to be very clear from the start that this card definitely teeters on the edge of that beginner category. And while I have found cases of individuals getting approved with limited credit history, that would require substantial and consistent income. And in most cases, you need a credit score of 700 in order to qualify for the Blue Cash Everyday card. Probably a controversial pick at number one because of that. However, it has no annual fee, gives you a $250 bonus if you spend $2,000 in the first six months, and it gives you 3% cash back on groceries, online retail purchases, and gas stations on up to six thousand dollars in purchases each year in each of those categories beyond that spending limit you'll get one percent cash back and one percent cash back on all other spending categories not only that but you're also looking at an 84 dollar credit each year towards the disney bundle which includes disney plus hulu and espn plus and a 180 dollar home chef credit which is a popular meal delivery service whether those credits apply to you depends on your current spending habits but the three percent back alone on grocery online retail purchases, and gas is unmatched for cards with no annual fee. Not to mention the fact that this is an American Express credit card, meaning it is absolutely the fastest path to more premium products like the Blue Cash Preferred, which is my favorite credit card across the board right now, and even premium travel cards like the Amex Gold and Platinum cards. Now, not everyone is looking to get those more premium and expensive products, but if you are looking to go that path, then the Blue Cash Everyday card is definitely the fastest way to get there. So any of these products would be a great choice depending on where you're at with building 
building your credit score. But in general, if you're starting from ground zero and are completely new to building your credit history, then the Discover It credit card probably remains as your best option. But if you have at least a little bit of credit history or you have established and consistent income, then I'd say roll the dice and apply for the Amex Blue Cash Everyday card because the cash back and benefits are way better than any other product on this list. And if you get denied for that card, you can always fall back on an easier to get option. But as always, this is just my opinion. So let me know what you think of this list down in the comment section and also check out the links in the description where you can learn more about several of the products mentioned in today's video. As always, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.